Okay, here's a classic Central American dining experience. We've got a dirt dog passed out right here. And then, over here, right next to our table, we've got a rooster. Some grubby sandy kids crawling around. Hey, vagrant, who are you? Look at those dirty feet. And then, right over here, we've got La Playa. Right there, so a beautiful view. See a little crab? Carrying the stroller over the bridge. That's Mike stating the obvious. Look at how many mangoes are on it. That's one of the cool things about a mango tree is it's just packed with fruit. Here's another branch of it. Obviously they're not ripe yet, but check that out. Like in each cluster has dozens and dozens of mangoes. That's so cool. Here's a wonderful beach ritual of the Pipus Frias. The whole family's got them. Oh yeah. What do you think about that, Mama? Delicioso. Here's a little pro tip. After you finish drinking your coconut, you bring it back to the guy and he opens it up for you and you can enjoy the delicious coconut meat. Okay, so here we got some eggs. We got two dozen of those, extra grande. Um, some beer for Papa Natural, uh, some coconut water, which hopefully we can get real coconut water, but it's always nice to have some at home. Some leche. I got some of this soap, okay? I have to tell you, this has been the biggest thing that's bummed me out about Costa Rica, antibacterial soap everywhere. And as you know, this is not good for us because it wipes off the good germs too and the good bacteria. I got a couple of different um, quesos. This is cheddar. I also got uh, a mozzarella, and I like it because they're very clean. I mean, obviously I'm sure the milk is not organic and that sort of thing, but there's not a lot of um, extra things. It's just basically pasteurized milk, some uh, cultures, and some salt. So I like that. And then for to represent Wisconsin, for my hubby, here is some string cheese for the kiddos. Um, I got tons of more fruit. So this is a huge papaya. Um, a watermelon. I think watermelon is in season here because every fruit stand has so much of this particular melon. Uh, we got some plantains, some oranges, lots of avocados in this bowl. I don't know if you can see, but it's by far Paloma's favorite food. Bananas. Um, there's another papaya there. Um, grapefruit, cherry tomatoes, some more plantains, lots of kiwis. Paloma loves kiwis. Limes. And then these are actually from the last place we were at. This makes really good juice. Um, I got a cabbage, some cucumbers. I was trying to use the clean 15 type vegetables. These are carrots, some fennel root. Uh, what else do we got here? Um, cilantro, I love putting this in salads and just anything really, eggs, it's so good. Um, some ginger root, garlic. I'm gonna try some yuca. I'm not sure how to make it. I've gotta Google it and see, but yuca is pretty big here, so I'm gonna give it a whirl. And then these, I think, are um, like hearts of palm or bamboo shoots, something like that. But they're fresh and they looked kind of fun, so I got them. And then here is lettuchuga. This is literally the only thing that they have in the whole store that was organic in terms of the produce. So you can see there it says Libre de Químicos. Uh, I don't know if I pronounced that right, but this was the only thing in the produce that was um, organic. So I thought I'm going to get some of that. So I got two lettuces. I also got this vegetable. I'm not sure what it is, but um, it should be fun to kind of figure out how to make that. And then over here, I got some, um, they had actually had a really great gluten-free aisle. So I got some rice pasta, um, some oats for um, Papa Natural, some chocolate. And then this was so cool. This is actually a raw granola. I mean, how cool is that? I can't even get this. Well, I guess I could at Whole Foods, but um, yeah, it looks just really clean, really delicious. So I know that Papa Natural will love that. Some walnuts. These are really cool. These are amaranth bars, and it basically just has amaranth, honey, and I think um, some cane sugar. So thought we would give those a whirl, and these are also um, organic. 
Uh, then I got some of these for Paloma. This reminded me of home, so she likes these for car rides. Um, makes her a little bit happier, so I got a couple flavors for her. And then finally I found some sea salt. So this is Marina um, Sol. Okay, this is the kind of meal that we're having on vacation here. It's like we've made our own platos tipicos. Mm -hmm. We have chicken and rice and vegetables. And, and, and wait, you know what I got? What do you got? I got carrots and I got a lot of peppers and I got some chicken yep. and a little bit of rice. And Grandma Sandy's got Paloma right here on her lap with a towel for maximum protection. Okay, let's take a look at the Costa Rican currency. Their currency is called the Colones. And the way that it goes, see, they're in really high denominations, like 10 mil, that's 10,000, 5,000, 2,000, 1,000. And it's around 500 colones to the dollar. It's like 530 colones. So this 1,000 bill, their smallest bill, is worth $2. $4, $10, $20, $20. And the currency is beautiful, as you can see. I like it because I don't know who any of these gentlemen are here, but on the backs of them, they have all the animals of Costa Rica, like a sloth and a white-faced monkey there, shark. And on the back of this, oh, it's a deer of some sort. We are in a minibus right now going to a place called Palo Verde. It's my mom. Good morning. And me and Griff, and we're supposed to see monkeys and alligators. And crocodiles and birds. Okay, there's a monkey right there. White-faced monkey there. How cool is that? I think that there are two crocodiles. You see them? There's a big iguana right there. He's chilling out in the sun. See, those right there on the tree trunk are bats. A bunch of little bats sleeping in the day. Well, what do we have here? What kind of fish is this, Griff? A puffer. Look at that. Puffer fish. It looks just like the puffer fish Look. in the book. Oh, I got this one. <gasps> what kind of fish is that? A mahi mahi. Whoa, what's that? Atlantic needlefish. And here's a puffer. He's so good. Oh my goodness, Daddy. Good job. All right, this is our twice daily ritual of putting sunscreen on the kids. You can tell vacation is almost over because we've had to cut open the container here. This adds a good 20 minutes onto each excursion. So there you have it, the last travel vlog from Costa Rica. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. I'll have a link to all of our Costa Rican vlogs up on the screen and also in the video description below. And thanks as always for watching.